Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. So glad to uh, meet you today. And uh, today we are uh, responding to the cry, uh, help, I've lost my focus. Um, focus is very important for us. Um, it, uh, focus is to, uh, to focus on something is to direct all our attention to something uh, or some event or some task to the exclusion of everything else. Right? So, uh, the ability to focus is very important for our lives, for our, to do our work effectively. If we need to carry out certain assignments, maybe our studies, maybe some project, uh, we need to be able to focus and not get distracted with everything else around us. Um, to, to focus uh, is very important and it's a necessary uh, skill in order to complete our tasks in a very timely manner and also to, uh, to focus, it's very important. Um, the ability to focus is very important to achieve our goals and the ability to focus is very important to pursue God's call for our lives. If we do not focus, we will be distracted. If we are distracted, we will not be able to put all our attention and give all our effort and carry out those things. We will not be able to prioritize um, the things that we need to do and we'll be running in different directions and uh, at the end of the day, not being able to complete what we set out to do. So, um, so all of us, uh, you know, as believers, uh, this is a very important thing for us to do, to be able to focus. So how do we lose this ability to focus? How do we lose our ability to focus? Well, uh, James chapter one and verses five through nine, this is what it reads. Uh, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So we see something here, a connection between doubting and being double-minded. When we doubt God, when we doubt His word, when we doubt His ways, His, his uh, instructions, uh, then we become double-minded. Uh, we be begin to second-guess everything. And when we become double-minded, we are not able to focus. Um, secondly, it could, it could be because we have not made up our mind. It, is, it could be because we have not really purposed in our heart. You know, like Daniel, Daniel when he was uh, uh, in the king's court, he was in captivity in Babylon and he purposes in his heart, the Bible says, he purposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's food. And therefore, uh, we see that God backs him up with divine favor and he's able to actually hold on to what he decided. And he has the strength to do that. So um, when we become irresolute, or when we don't purpose in our heart, purpose make up our mind, then we lose focus. Uh, thirdly, worry. When we worry about things, our mind is preoccupied. It's worrying about several things and unable to focus. So worry also uh, uh, causes us to lose focus. Right? Then uh, lastly, uh, if it is sin, you know, sin results in, as a believer, when we sin, Sin results in guilt and shame and condemnation. And uh, before God and also before man. So uh, it helps or it hinders us from focusing on what we need to do. So with all this, with all these challenges, we need to reclaim or retain our focus. So how do we do that? First of all, resolve. Determine firmly, decide firmly on the course of action. Um, purpose beforehand and uh, make up our minds. Our minds are powerful and we can make up our mind. Secondly, build our faith. We need to build our faith in God, in His Word, by meditating on His Word, by focusing on the Word of God, by meditating, by confessing, by reading and, and actually doing. And we build our faith that way. Thirdly, we need to worry-proof our lives by uh, receiving, by allowing the peace of God to um, protect our heart and mind through Christ Jesus. And if there's anything that we have done, uh, any sin, we can repent and renounce it. Right? So we need to reclaim our ability to focus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've given us this wonderful ability to focus. And by doing so, 
carry out your plans and purposes god and I, lord i pray if for some reason we have lost that ability to focus lord we pray may we may that be restored may we reclaim that ability to focus today in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org